Well, the city of Cleveland is proposing new regulations for short-term rentals, such as Airbnbs. An ordinance introduced by city council last night is in response to a number of complaints by residents. Lena Lai tells us about those proposed regulations and has reaction from rental hosts and Airbnb. We caught up with Airbnb super host Mike Kowal renovating one of his properties for future rental. Kowal prides himself as a small business owner who contributes to the local economy. Whereas opposed to that house would have just been sitting there vacant and it would have had to be condemned, you know, but we went in there, fixed it up. Now it's nice and it's actually usable. But now the city of Cleveland is cracking down on short-term rentals. My office has been flooded with complaints. Cleveland City Councilman Kerry McCormick introduced legislation Monday night limiting the number of people in a short-term rental. The maximum number would equal two per bedroom plus two more people. And there can only be one rental, not making up more than 15 percent of a residential block or a multi-unit building. Parties, shootings, you name it, we've experienced it. Uh, and so the city needs a mechanism to be able to crack down on that type of behavior. The ordinance would also require short-term rentals to be licensed and have at least $300,000 of liability insurance. Rentals can't be for more than 30 consecutive days or less than 24 hours. And a local contact has to be available and can be on site in one hour. Kowal bristles at more government regulation chops the knees out from underneath all the people that have been working on Airbnb so hard. However, city leaders say what most people don't know is that using a home exclusively as a short-term rental has been illegal in Cleveland for decades. This new ordinance would allow it, but with restrictions. And within the last hour, I got this reaction from Airbnb in an email, the company saying, quote, home sharing has been an important part of the fabric of Cleveland for decades, enabling the city to welcome visitors whose spending supports local businesses and creates economic opportunity for residents. The statement went on to say it looks forward to working with Cleveland for fair and clear rules. Russ and Christie, the ordinance may go up for a vote in the next two weeks. Mm, all right. Lead a lie. Thank you.